Hi, I'm Mary Beth Stapleton, Manager of Family and Community Partnerships. Thank you for joining us for the Real Talk on the new cell phone policy rollout for the 2024-2025 school year. I have with me Mike O'Brien, Executive Director of Secondary. Thanks for being here with me. It's great to be here. I know you have really important information to share with families. We want to make sure we get that information out as soon as possible so that everybody can have a successful school year. That's right. So could you share for families, for parents, what is the new update to the cell phone policy? Absolutely. Um, so if we can start with middle school. Sure. Um, so middle school, it won't really look and feel that much different. Okay. Um, so students, when they arrive to school, um, they have up until that homeroom period um, to make sure that their earbuds, earphones, their, and their cell phones are deactivated and placed in the locker. Um, and that again is around that homeroom mark. So students in middle school cannot have their phone on them, with them, or earphones, Air, AirPods, earphones um, on them during the school day. Okay. Um, so they can collect those materials, of course, um, prior to dismissal um, and use uh, on, on the bus. Got it. Okay, so that means that for parents that are wondering, um, and there's a conversation always as you're getting out the door of what's allowed and not allowed during the school day. So just a, a gentle reminder from parents that, you know, you can have your phone on the bus, you can have it after school if you're doing after school middle school sports or any kind of after school activities. It's just during the school day that the middle schooler really does have to put it away. That's correct. Okay. And some students wear a, a smart watch, like an Apple watch or something like that. Um, they can have that. Mm -hmm. They can, um, but that has to be deactivated as well. Um, so it can connect with their phone that's in the locker. Um, that has to be deactivated as well. Um, and that just means that it can't emit sound or, or visual cues um, directly from their phone. So, but otherwise, students can have a smartwatch. It just isn't going to really be smart while they're in class. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Okie doke. And so for high school, what's, what's changing with high school? Sure. Yeah. High school is where they're going to feel a little more change. Mm -hmm. So. Um, students are allowed to have a phone um, <clears throat> with them during the school day, uh, but it cannot be visible and it must be deactivated um, while in the classrooms. Um, for some schools, that's not a big change. Um, and for other schools, it's a pretty big change. Um, ever since COVID, uh, we've probably been a little more lax mm -hmm. with some of our, our procedures around um, headphones and earbuds and phones. But we recognize that these are, are a distraction Got it. to kids. And so um, we are going to, first day of school, um, be back with um, the, the new board policy, and that is um, that they can't have them um, during class. Now, um, during class change, um, students can certainly um, utilize their cell phone within procedure, mm -hmm. um, and like in the cafeteria, um, same, same as well. Um, there are, of course, other rules, um, no bullying, cyberbullying, you shouldn't be taking phone calls, um, taking videos, things like that. But personal use of your cell phone um, would be allowed um, during class changes and um, like at lunch. And again, before school and after school. Yes. So if they have it on the bus or they have it um, after school, you know, sports and drama and all of that, they're able to have the access as well. Correct. So very good. And then just thinking about that from a parent's lens, um, you know, what can we do as parents to help, to help our school administration, to help our teachers? How can we support and be together in a community together and, and the adults in the room, right? Sure. About uh, supporting our students and, and their growth this year with this. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, um, as a parent myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> going through this process, um, I had a little trepidation mm -hmm. until I started really doing some of the research um, on why this policy is important for students. And um, seeing the mental health issues we've had um, as a country, um, seeing what um, being distracted all the time does um, to students, both for their academic learning, um, but their, their social experience, their emotional experience at school. Um, the first thing I would ask parents to do is to just, you know, do some research on, on why. Why there are we doing this? Um, that helped me, and that helped change my mind as a parent as well to, you know, I don't want my students distracted at school. And it's the right policy and it's the right work. Um, so the first thing is just, you know, anything that your school sends you, read it, check it out about the impacts that these um, devices can have on young people. Um, after that, um, it's a little thing, but um, asking parents, you know, 
try not to text your student mm. <laughs> during the school day. Mm. Um, it, that could get them in trouble. Um, students will have access to their phones at, at some time. So um, remember when kids have that cell phone in high school in the classroom, it has to be deactivated, which means it cannot emit sound um, or visual cues. Um, so in some classrooms, it may be in a pouch on the door, or it may be in a pouch um, on the side of the desk, or actually in a pouch on the desk, but it should be not visible. Um, so again, just back to parents, um, allow your student to, to text you when they're allowed to during the school day for our high school students. Um, and again, we, we don't want students to get in trouble for this, um, but it will be enforced. And, and that's probably important for parents to know is that um, you know we'll be pretty strict on it um, starting in the fall. So talking about the enforcement part of it, so for parents that you can understand what that will look like, um, really just just to share briefly what that could look like for a, sure. a child who just really does struggle and, and really doesn't want to kind of listen to the rules. And you know we we are all parents. We've had that happen with some of our kids along the way. So um, what will that look like? I think for starters, it's effective communication around our why. You know, why is this important? And it's going to be hard for students to necessarily understand when they're coming off of the summer and they want to have their phone readily accessible to them um, whenever they want. Unfortunately, that's not what's best for them. Um, and it's not what's best for their learning. And we know this. Um, so pass to the communication, pass to saying this is why we're doing this. Will obviously be some you know additional consequences um, for students who um, have a hard time with the policy and and really that'll start with the classroom teacher um, we want classroom teachers to reach out to parents um, whether it's by phone calls or emails and just say hey you know we're having a, a little bit of a hard time with with your child um, regarding this policy if we could partner with you that's really our goal mm -hmm. you know our goal isn't to give consequences but um, again if if they don't comply after so many times, um, you know, schools will give out detentions and, and things like that to um, help you know, bring kids along and have them comply with the policy. Right, and it's so great to hear that teachers and schools will really include parents in that partnership and that communication around their child's progress. And so um, we really appreciate your time and, and your attention to this. And, and, and we do have some resources coming from a parent academy. We'll have some workshops virtually that you could join to hear about the why um, that Mike has shared. And so we'll share that um, information shortly. Um, but there's many resources that we'll share as well through parent academy to help support parents. So thank you so much for, you. for taking the lead on this. And we know our, our kids are going to have a great school year. It's going to be and, a great year. Um, it, it's going to be good. Yep. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us, parents. And we'll see you next time on Real Talk.